Meghan Markle sparks pregnancy rumors as she arrives in Australia carrying two purple folders in front of her stomach. The Duchess of Sussex has sparked a storm of pregnancy speculation after she touched down in Sydney clutching a pair of purple folders in front of her stomach. Seen holding the items in her right arm as her she stepped off the plane with her husband Prince Harry, fans of the royals were left guessing what information they could contain. For many the folders added to speculation Meghan Markle is expecting a baby fueling the fire already stoked by the large blue coat she wore at Princess Eugenie's wedding last week. Social media users were some of the first to link the mysterious folders to her rumored pregnancy. One user said, calling it now, Meghan is pregnant. But others surmised the Duchess was simply being organized to make sure she had the lay of the land ahead of her first ever trip to Australia. One said, Meghan Markle arriving in Australia with itinerary folders like everyone's mum on their first overseas holiday. Actress Rebecca Gibney, speaking on the Kyle and Jack Yeo radio show, suspected the Duchess was using the folders to disguise a baby bump. Kyle Sandilands asked Thames Gibney why would she be carrying a folder? To which the actress replied exactly. Jack Yeo, meanwhile, joked the folders were so big she must be carrying twins. While the public were intent on fueling speculation about the next royal baby, the pair told a British newspaper in an interview prior to the tour they hoped to start a family in the near future. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex touched down in Sydney on Monday morning for their first major international tour since getting married. The royal couple arrived into Sydney on a Qantas A380 commercial flight from London via Singapore. The couple will have a low-key start to their Australian tour with official duties not starting until Tuesday giving them time to rest after the long-haul flight. A heavy police presence greeted the couple at Sydney Airport, ready to whisk the royals away to Admiralty House, where the couple were to be officially welcomed by Governor-General Sir Peter Cosgrove at his sprawling Sydney Harbourside residence. They also had a 10-person entourage in tow. Meghan's best friend and stylist Jessica Moroni is expected to join the couple with her on her tour. A crowd of royal fans turned out in the rain outside the Kirobi address to welcome the pair. But the streets of the suburb did not quite match up to the glamour as the visiting royal couple were greeted by discarded mattresses, chairs, milk crates, and pieces of carpet. The arrival of the royal couple, organized months in advance coincided with one of North Sydney Council's fortnightly household waste cleanup days. Prince Harry and Meghan will also visit Dubbo, in the New South Wales Central West, Melbourne and Fraser Island in Queensland on their Australian tour. It is the Duchess of Sussex's first visit to Australia. They will spend a week in the country and then on Tuesday. October 23 they will head to Fiji for two days and then on to Tonga before returning to Australia. On Sunday. October 28 they will cross the Tasman Sea to New Zealand, visiting Wellington, the Awal Tasman National Park, Auckland and Rotorua before heading home on Wednesday, October 31st. The program across these four Commonwealth countries will focus on youth leadership, environmental and conservation efforts, including the dedication of several new Queen's Commonwealth Canopy projects and the recovery and rehabilitation of servicemen and women through the Invictus Games Sydney 2018, the palace said in a short statement when announcing the tour itinerary. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend 76 engagements across the four countries, including the Invictus Games in Sydney, which runs from October 20 to 28.